Hey everyone, this is Blanca with Blanca's Travels and today I am at Lisbon Portela Airport and when you arrive from your flight, wherever maybe you're going to go out that exit where it says Martini and Tonic, that may be gone when you come back according to the sponsor, but yeah, that's where you're going to come right out. If you start turning to the right, you're going to see that you have the tourist information right here. You can pick up maps and ask them for whatever, taxi vouchers. Um, I usually don't need information because I got my smartphone and that gives me everything I need. But something that you may actually really need is your SIM card. And there's a Vodafone office right here. And you can purchase your SIM card for your phone right there. Now, if you see these people that are right here kind of waiting in threes, these are rental companies that don't have offices inside the airport. So usually they'll have your name or have the name of the company and they'll tell you to find them. From here, they'll put you on a shuttle and then they'll take you to your rental car. Now, if we walk over this way, you're going to have two different choices on how to get to Lisbon. So if we look to the left, and I'm just going to make my way over there, um, it's where the metro is. The metro is super easy to take in Portugal, especially in Lisbon, um, and it's very cheap. Your Uber, I just took an Uber here because I'm picking up a rental car to go to Ikea. Very exciting. Um, but the metro will cost you like, I think it's like one euro fifty uh, to go one way. And for example, if you're going to like Avenida Schnovas, um, it'll take you directly to the San Sebastião station. So we're going to go out here. And I just want to show you where you find the metro stop. And then we'll go back and I'll show you where the rental cars are. Okay, so notice I went through the two glass doors. And if you look right over there, that is the metro station. So just go down there and buy yourself your met uh, metro card. All right, now I'm gonna head back into the airport. Okay, so remember, I went to the left through the glass doors. But if you have a rental car company that has an office within the airport, what you're going to do, instead of going through those glass doors, is you see this little restaurant right here? And see this tiny little hallway right here? We'll let these people through. You're gonna go right through here. And if you look on the top left, this is Aluged di Automobis. I'm sorry about the pronunciation, I'm so learning Portuguese. But anyway, that's your rental car. It also says rental car. So we're gonna go right here. And this is where you actually pick up your rental car. It's usually pretty packed, it's not a pleasant experience. But um, if you need a rental car, this is where you get it. Let me just walk through a little bit more. And we're getting gold car. A lot of these companies are going to try to upsell you on either like insurance. If you have an Amex, usually you take care of that so you don't need that. They'll try to upsell you on the easy pass and say, oh, you have to because all the roads take it. They don't. It's nice to have though, so I usually go ahead and take it. But don't, don't, don't get oversold. Um, enjoy your time in Lisbon and if you have any questions, um, I've been to Lisbon five times. I've just relocated here So don't be shy to ask you can leave your questions in the comment down below um, Or you can go to my blog which is blancavalbuena.com and just let me know what your questions are. Ciao! Happy travels!